Hey guys, Sentai Poppy 93 here. Uh, as you know, the Power Rangers film is coming out this week. I thought it'd be fun to take a look back at the uh, the top Power Ranger ripoffs. Uh, there were sure were a lot of them in the 90s. And uh, here are some of the my, my favorite ones that really, really just ripped off Power Rangers really bad. So the most obvious Power Ranger ripoff is VR Troopers. It was also made by Saban and Fox, so uh, they were kind of ripping off themselves. Uh, it's about a kid named Ryan Steele and his friends. They uh, team up with a Professor Hart and they go into a digital vir virtual reality world to fight the evil Grim Lord. And uh, yeah, they have a talking dog. And uh, I mean, y you see what it is. They just turn into Power Rangers, basically. They don't really have a mech thing. They don't have a combiner robot, but uh, they do have a talking dog. So, you know what? This one's pretty good. You, sh you should check this one out. Whoa, that was intense. Hey, was that me? Whoa, I can talk. Again, going back to Fox and Saban, eventually they did uh, Big Bad Beetleborgs. Uh, this one's a little different. Um, it's still about uh, kids turning into superheroes, but this time they're a lot younger. But when they turn, when they transform, they're huge. Uh, it's about kids who go into a haunted house. They meet a genie who looks like Jay Leno uh, and lives with Dracula and Frankenstein and a mummy for some reason. Anyway, the kids get the wish of being Beetleborgs, their favorite uh, comic book characters. Uh, but it backfires because then all the bad guys from the comic then come out and they have to stop them. Um, this one's pretty good. I mean, it's not too much like uh, Power Rangers, but I mean... It's close enough. You can definitely see they're they're kind of they kind of uh, ins they were inspired by it, but uh, I don't know. I think you guys will really like this one. All right, and this one is kind of obviously uh, Power Rangers and VR Troopers. Uh, much like Power Rangers, is about a bunch of teenagers trying to fight a Dark Lord. This time, it's a uh, virus uh, played by Tim Curry named Kilocon. So they took Khan, which is a very popular bad guy name, and they put kilo like kiloton bomb uh so yeah real original anyway sam collins and his friends they turn into robots they combine into a bigger robot but uh like vr vr troopers they go into the computer like the cyber world or the virtual world so they're not really smashing buildings or anything they're smashing stuff inside of a computer this one was you know pretty obvious it wasn't really great uh if you were already watching power rangers there was no reason to watch this one uh yeah you could do without it Next up, we have Tattooed Teenage Alien Fighters from Beverly Hills. That's a handful. This is clearly trying to rip off Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers with a really, really long name. Uh, yeah, so it's about a bunch of teenagers. Uh, they meet a, a, a giant brain played by Glenn Shaddix. And uh, the brain gives them powers with their tattoos. And they, they turn into American Gladiator people with weird silver masks. And then they also turn into a robot and uh, they fight uh, a Gorganus, Emperor Gorganus, who makes other monsters. So this one's pretty on the nose with what it's uh, ripping off of. But, you know, I mean, this one's pretty missable, but uh, it's really funny. The, the, the theme song is obviously trying to be Power Rangers and obviously failing. And, you know, Glenn Shaddix had a cool voice, so you should uh, definitely, definitely give this one a look. Maybe watch one or two episodes. Okay, this last one is just disgraceful. It's called uh, Super Sentai Zoo Ranger, um, and it, it it straight up just steals steals footage from Power Rangers. Like, look, this all looks like Power Rangers. Like, this is the, the exact same shot that you would have seen in Power Rangers, uh, right down to having Rita and her bad guys in it. They didn't even get a new actress. They just got Rita and her bad guys to be in it. The only thing they change is when the Power Rangers aren't Rangers, they're uh, they're an Asian cast. And this is weird. They turn the Yellow Ranger into a boy. His name is even boy. That's that's really bizarre. I don't know how Japan got away with this. I don't know what the international copyright laws are, but uh, this is very disrespectful. This is the most obvious rip off. I don't even know if I can really call it ripping off. I think it's stealing. I think it's straight up theft. And I'm surprised Saban never tried to press any legal action against them. Anyway, so those are my favorite uh, Power Ranger ripoffs. Um, they're all pretty good, except for Super Sentai Zoo Ranger, which just, you know, just copy and paste footage and just adds their own actors in between, which is real disgusting and disrespectful. Not as disrespectful as the new movie coming out, you know, the one that uh, Michael Bay made that's going to ruin Power Rangers forever. But this is still pretty bad. 
Anyway, that was me, Sentai Poppy 93 uh, Make sure you like, share, and subscribe this video, and let me know if you know of any other uh, Power Ranger ripoffs. I know I missed a few. There was like that, that the Knights of Tiernanog and a few other ones. Uh, let me know your favorite Power Ranger ripoff. Bye!